Fencing's a sport anybody can do. Any fitness level, any ability level. This is something that you can compete in international at the Olympics or anywhere in the state of Virginia. There's foil, epee, and saber, and each one sort of lends itself to different body types. Fencing's nickname is physical chess. So it's a lot different from most any sport you've ever tried before. It keeps you active mentally and physically, so it's not just one, it's both. This is the only sport you can do where everybody can participate. Where the whole family can take a class together, or mom can take a woman's only class, dad can fence with the kids, the kids can take their own class. When I was 43, I actually started fencing with my then 10-year-old son. He's now 18 years old, starting in college, and we've been fencing together for the last eight years. We're competing on equal footing. We're not just fencers, we're teammates, we're a family, so there's a lot of camaraderie with that. We celebrate birthdays, have cookouts, do social stuff together. It's a great group of people. If you're really curious about the sport, the best suggestion is just to come here, get a tour of the facility, and watch fencing. Watch what we do. If after that you're really interested, take a beginner's class. Giving it a try isn't necessarily a huge investment of time or money. We have equipment here. We offer beginner's classes at a reasonable rate. It's a four-week class. Try it for a few weeks. But during those four weeks, you learn the basics of footwork, the basics of blade work, the basics of like just putting on your gear and understanding exactly the functionality of what it is that you're putting on. You'll be hooked for the rest of your life. Unlike a team sport, it's all on my shoulders, whether I win or lose. I was never really into sports as a youth. And I found fencing and, and thought, wow, you know, I, I can do sports. I can be an athlete. I can be standing right there talking with somebody that just came back from trying out for the Olympics. Uh, somebody that made the World Cup team. Or I could be talking to a kid that started fencing six weeks ago in their first tournament and they're scared to death. And it's a whole range of really fun people. Plus the fact that, again, I'm not coaching. I get to actually compete. For a former athlete, well, I'm back to being a real athlete again.